Bingo, we have a winner. So this might be the most plausible opinions in my creative expression. So viewer discretion advised, it's about to get biblical. So Astro Word could very well be an abbreviated version of Astaroth. And you can see here what that means. I think it is because what I'm about to show you strongly correlates to this. All right, let's continue. All right, so pay attention to this, the mountain, right? The mountain that we've seen at this festival, at this Astro World Festival. Everybody want to know what the mountain represents. I mean, it's a mountain with a portal, right? A mountain with a portal. That we do know. And where can we find a mountain with a portal from historical texts or whatever you want to call it? I'll show you. I think it is a place called Mount Hermon, which is located in Israel. Also known as Jebel al Sheikh. Okay, what is significant about this mountain? Let me tell you. All right, so the book of Enoch, which is found within the Dead Sea Scrolls, actually goes into detail on this. So this is also recorded in other cultures and everything. So the saying goes that 200, whatever you want to call them, angels or whatever, descended. You know, they left their posts and whatever, and they came down to mankind and they came on this mountain um it was 200 of them and they were their leader was called azazel or something like that and pretty much these angels taught mankind how to make armor how to freaking you know do genetic engineering all kind of stuff pretty much gave them you know all modern technology and you know wisdom and whatnot they would go on to do more great things and ultimately damn themselves and end up in tartarus which is located deep under the earth, within the caverns of the earth for all my hollow earth people. You know what I'm talking about. Not to mention the mountain, the stage for Astro World also has an inverted cross. Hmm. So I raised the question again. Who knows what lies beneath the surface? I just told you. Those angels that got sentenced there for 77 generations. Uh, if you do the mouth from when they got sentenced to now, um, the sentence might be up. So I don't know. Either that or they trying to usher in. They trying to break them free or something. They trying to bring something to this side. Could it be them? Could it be them? But wait, there's more. Yep, good luck ever trying to go there because the same people that said CERN is at Mount Hermon and you can't go and they're there for obvious reasons. Last Welcome back to 5D Mystery School. This is part two of my video from yesterday. Well, Travis Scott, why did they choose him for this experience? Well, he is going through his Saturn return, right? He is 30. That represents three. Keep that in mind for later. Now, why would they bring out Drake at the concert? Well, Drake is 35 and that represents eight. And we've talked about that number. If you count the number of flames here on the stage, you will see that there's eight. Now, again, this took place on Friday, which is the sixth day of the week. And Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun. Also symbolic, the day before, the Phoenix Suns beat the Rockets, right? That represents the Phoenix rising from the ashes because this whole ritual has to do with life, death, and rebirth in the Scorpio season. So this is the main theme of this ritual, right? You have Moloch, Phoenix, and Kronos, Saturn. Life, death, and rebirth. You have the Phoenix rising from the ashes. Which is also why you have the owner of the Phoenix Suns in the, the media right now who's going through a public rebirth, an uh, ego death. And side note, part of this whole ritual is like if we are God experiencing itself, then it's God having an ego death. We'll do that in another video. Okay, so let's bust down this symbology. So the Braves beat the Astros, right, prior to the concert. Seven is zero. Saturn has seven rings. They beat him in game six. We've talked about Saturn being the sixth planet from the sun and the event taking place on a Friday, which is the sixth day of the week. And it's the first title in 26 years. And 26 in numerology is eight. Now, this headline says that Hank Aaron would have been proud. Hank Aaron's number was 44, and that equals eight. Okay, so super side note. You might know these as palm trees, but these are also called the Phoenix Canariuses, right? And they're native to the Canary Islands where the active uh, La Palma volcano is happening right now. This is no mistake, guys. Now, they kept emphasizing eight, 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 right? And, right? and if you turn eight sideways, it kind of looks like this, right? Like the meta symbol. 
and we, we can get deeper into the eight points of time and space but that's again for another video so if you turn the poster upside down you can see that it looks clearly like saturn and you have the all-seeing eyes that are being extended from saturn very symbolic and like i said in one of my last videos saturn is everywhere even on amazon now i had some people in my last video saying oh my god spain is so far from la palma well, technically, La Palma is a part of Spain, just like Hawaii is a part of the United States. Now, if you were to stick a large hydron collider 100 meters in the ground, I don't know the effects of it, but I'm pretty sure it might have something to do with an active volcano. So Saturn is known as Kronos, and Kronos is another way of saying time, which is why the hourglass also looks like the infinity sign, the meta sign, and the number eight. So in summary, this represents this and so much more. And the next step will be a sacrifice.